Alrighty, see this video one more time. All they are coming in for the landing. Left hand side is a pilot in monitoring and right hand side is a pilot in command. And in the middle here is a flight engineer. He's the PIC performing his landing right now. See his landing. That's literally wild. Hammer smashed on the runway. Probably he missed his altitude and that's the reason of his hour landing. Alrighty, see this one more time. Well done by the pilots. I'm just literally got shocked when I saw this. Now the pilots on its landing phase and right now is to Foxton runway despite seeing the traffic on the road. Pilot never saw the car because it was a busy Foxton runway and the car clips they never saw the plane although I don't think so how. While driving you must have seen what is in front of you. At this point it's too late to stop. It collided with the car nearly ripped off the roof. Despite it was so low but it never should have happened. This is a very scary situation. A student pilot in Cessna 150 lost his engine during the last leg of cross country flying. Not a good indication, RPM dropped suddenly. Concord Tower, Cessna 117, Tango Sierra. I'm identing, I'm losing my engine. If you're losing your power and RPM drops suddenly without any reason, that's a sign of engine failure. And he started to scanning a place for emergency landing. But the problem is, he was over the residential area. There is no way to go, and then he loses all power. Then he's starting at panic because of the unexpected engine failure. And then he found an empty field. I'm uh, gonna attempt a landing in a field. Then he notified the ADC that he's gonna land. I have touched down. And then he safely landed into the field. Now pay close attention and see what happened next. An ALK Airlines aircraft with 121 passengers on board encountered with the severe troubles, and many of the passengers smashed into the ceiling, including one flight attendant with her catering cart. An auto barrier from them broke from hot water. From that cart, some of the passengers sent into the hospital, and out of some passengers got minor injuries. Typically, it's a convenient issue rather than safety. That's why it's important to keep your seatbelt faster anytime that child is with it. This is actually very super rare to see visibility drops further down after passing the minimums because of the rain. Now they come all the way down to the minimums. Technically, they can land because they have a runway inside. But apparently, visibility drops further down to the minimums. Apparently, they say go around. This is also a procedure he said go around and pilots say positive one gear up. It's very actually rare to see you well done by the pilots. Long flare, it's literally too dangerous. You come in for the landing, everything is so good, you're flying a stabilizer approach, and then you try to break your descent rate because you will initiate your flare. You put your throttle to the idle. And then what you see, your plane not touching down at all, and it's just floating all the way to the runway. As long as you're gonna stretch your flare, obviously airspeed gonna decrease, because you have put your throttle to idle position, and now they're almost about to run out the runway, and beyond the touchdown zone, and obviously now they are running out of the runway, and the best call of action is by pilot, is to perform a go around, and that's all what we wanted to say. Great job, well done by the pilot. This is tall, short takeoff and landing events. Already see what happened after it. See his rudder is fully deflected into the wind, which means the wind is coming from right hand side. Surely correct. Rare the pilot made mistake is that after the touchdown, he's not using any aileron deflection. And that for sure the pilot did that on the wrong way. What I mean he should bank the plane into the wind to counteract the active wind. Occasionally he didn't do that and this happened. What will happen to this A350 after he touches down? This is what not to do in crosswind landing. Everything looking good at this point, flying a stabilizer approach. And then pilot touches down too hard, oh, nearly hits easy. the number one engine. Oh my flipping egg. That was actually wow. too close to the tail strike. Not in a break in a descent rate, and a little late to start flare, oh, left main gear down and then right and made a bouncy oh, landing. Boss, Look at that elevator down, deflection, full pitch up input going on. Well, not letting his nose come down at all. Was, Secondly, nose down, has like. to come down after touches with the main gear first wow. and they still keep holding so that much up elevator input. Early,
This is something you never want to see as a passenger. United 737 coming in for the landing at LaGuardia runway 13. And look at that. Moving tip hit in the ground on the numbers. Or the pilot safely executed the go around. Runway 13 is a relatively short runway at LaGuardia. It's about 7000 feet long and 150 wide. In this slow mo, how badly the wingtip hits the runway, you can imagine from the video. Point to land way before the 1000 foot marker. It could be a rust in decision making. And here it is, trucks trying to repairing the runway. Now pay attention right here, here they are coming in for the landing in your Airbus A320, in a left captain pilot in monitoring and in right first officer pilot in command. Now they are transitioning for the flare, watch what happened. 40, 30, 20, retard, retard. Now dude that was a hard touch down, the captain reacted rapidly not to touch down at all and immediately he set the thrust to toga to get the plane immediately airborne again and into a go around and you can also hear the dual inputs as a priority left. The captain took the controls and performed go around and it's clearly explained aviation is a teamwork. United 777 engine exploded and caught fire shortly after takeoff from Denver, Colorado. United 328 Heavy was in Boeing 777 aircraft carrying 223 passenger and 10 crew members on board. Now United 328 Heavy lined up runway 25 for takeoff for the 7 hours flight to the Honolulu, Hawaii. 4 minutes after departure at 12,000 feet, right hand engine also known second engine got failed and inlet of the engine falling down. Luckily no one got hurt by falling debris and after the surplus effort by the pilot at this point Travel clear United 328 Heavy for ILS runway 26 approach on Denver, Colorado. Couple of minutes later, they made emergency landing back to Denver without loss of any life. This is something you now want to see as a passenger. American Flight 4125 skidded out the runway shortly after touchdown at Chicago O'Hare Airport because of icy condition and poor visibility. Now just pay attention. That was the second attempt of the pilot after one. Because of the lack of visibility and icy condition, they got flipping over. As a result, right main gear collapsed. Passenger said that was a definitely scariest moment. Luckily, no one got hurt on board, including passengers and cabin crew.